Hello everybody, it's Schwan again from Vector Gaming, and uh, we just lost, let's see, we just lost a match to Beybladers because, well not only because, but, you know, we was 3-3, it was tied, but then I lost complete connection to the SEA, and we just got steamrolled after that. Now props to Beybladers, they, they're really nice guys, gave me plenty of time to reconnect, but it doesn't change the fact that the ESEA client is fucking garbage. So, uh, here's the best way that my team has found to fix it. So the first thing we're going to do is let's say you just lost connection to your imagined ESEA. The first thing you need to do is uninstall the client. Now if you press the start menu and you go to all programs you'll find an ESEA folder. I don't know if this is on the video but it, it's straightforward. I don't feel like moving the screen. Um, but you'll find an ESEA folder. Click on that. You click on ESEA client folder underneath that folder and you'll see uninstall. You might see the end of this. It's right here. So we'll uninstall the client it'll do a UAC prompt, that's fine. Alright, uninstall it. So now it's completely uninstalled, right? Wrong. Alright, so now we gotta go into our C drive. I don't know why I press games, that's kinda weird. Alright, we go into our C drive, our program files, we find the ESCA folder, because it's still there of course. Okay, and all this shit is still in even though we uninstalled the program. So we'll try to delete this directory. Okay, give it a... now look, it doesn't let us. So this time we'll go into this, delete this directory first. Okay, give it a count control. Oh wait, I think I'm running the client. Yeah, make sure you're not running the client when you're doing this. Okay, so let's see if this works. So try to delete this directory. Okay, so now that entire ESCA directory is gone. Remember, you can't run the client at the same time. Alright, so that directory is gone. But is it actually uninstalled yet? No, is the answer. So, the next step, you need to download Reg Cleaner from Major Geeks. This will be a link in the description. You'll just press download here, download and install the program. Now the key here, when you launch Reg Cleaner, you need to launch it as an administrator. So we'll do that now. Run as administrator, UAC prompt. Okay, we accept that. Now we find ESCA. Oh look, it's right at the top. Alright, so we click on ESCA. Now if it's not right on the top, you can use the scroll bar and just look for ESCA. It'll say ESCA or ESCA client. Let me just do a click, quick look through, make sure ESCA client isn't on here as well. Um, sadly, it's not alphabetized. I think I can make it alphabetized, but too late now. Um, okay, yeah, I think you can alphabetize it by, yeah, like this. So E, alright, so the ESCA, it's right here. You can click here and alphabetize it, as you saw. So we find ESCA. We tell it to remove selected, and that will work because we ran it as an administrator. It will fail if you do not run this program as an administrator. Okay, so now that it did its thing and deleted ESCA, we'll close that. Okay, we'll go back here, and you need to download the client from, uh, you know, from ESCA, the website. And then once you do that, we'll click on that. UAC prompt again. Alright, we'll get it to install. Okay, no errors, that's good news. Okay, now we got the client again, over here. So we launch it, and the way we know this is successful is it's going to ask us what language we want, it's going to ask us to agree to the whatever, and to re-log in. It does this because it has no prior knowledge, there's nothing in the registry that told it what any of this information was. So this is a brand new, clean install of ESCA, and if now once you log in, go to your new server, it should work. This has been the best solution we could come across, but you know what, so sometimes it doesn't, sometimes you're in a hurry and you do it wrong, but if you do everything right, it should have a good chance at working, and that's like a really shitty thing, but like, you know, th this is the best uh, I can give you, so next time you disconnect from client, try this strategy, and uh, hopefully you can get right back in and the other team will keep a pause for you, and uh, good luck, I'm out.